Good morning. Come on. And welcome to the Playful Knitter of Vlogmas. My name is Malena. And I'm starting to feel like this rather disheveled look is my Vlogmas uniform this year. <laughs> I am in the kitchen just making tea and cooking myself breakfast or any other meal of the day for me. It's called Ulebro and uh, it's a long-standing tradition in my family. My grandma used to make it for me. My mom used to make it for me. Actually, every Christmas she would make a pot for each of my sisters and me and uh, we would take turns in being the first one to get it. <laughs> it's just, it's my very favorite. It does not look very tasty, I know. It is rye bread like softened up in water and then you add sugar and um well we call it elf beer or christmas beer it's like a dark beer where there's not much alcohol in it at all so yeah it's a very old-fashioned danish dish so it's kind of porridge but not really i'm not a big fan of porridge but i guess it would enter into that category but then you eat it with well some eat it with whipped cream I eat it with a little bit of milk and cream it's just so yummy and usually I would have made it before December 22nd but now finally I'm having Ulebol <laughs> I'm so excited I will see if I can find a recipe I think I did last year I'll check again and then um I'll link it in the description box below. Today is going to be, hello, my name is Malena. I'll be your driver day. <laughs> I just took Lars to work because, well, he usually takes his bike, but the storm is still blowing away out there. So I was like, I didn't really feel safe having him ride the bike. And yeah, so I just took him. And then Augusta has to be picked up from her sleepover at 11 and then right after that I'm picking Ella up from her sleepover and then I actually think I'm gonna go hang out with my besties. I'm very excited about that but we'll see what the day brings. I better go check on my Ulepro and uh, I'll talk to you later. Before I forget, I want to let you know that today we also have another yarn dyer of the day. We will both today and tomorrow. So I'll let you know a bit more about that later too. But first I want to turn the camera around and show you what's behind me. My wall of everything knitting related family. It's just um, little trinkets I've collected from when I've gotten packages from with yarn or cards from friends and my collection of my knitter's merit badges from Diddly Daisies. I think I showed you some of it last year, maybe. But maybe maybe some of you didn't watch last year and um, I've gotten some new patches and stuff. So just I want to show you because I love it so very much. Here we are. I can't fit it all in the picture because right behind me is a table. It's just all kinds of little things, you know, like this is a bookmark I bought when I lived in Wisconsin and there's cards from friends. My, oh, and this is Lars. <laughs> when we had, when we're under lockdown or lockdown it's called, he made a little office down here. <laughs> And some old drawings from Augusta and Ella. There's some little um, 
stitch markers that I was gifted. And some yarn. Another stitch marker, a beautiful card. Yeah. And then my merit badges. Let me show you those. This is one of my new ones. Cal Survivor. And then there's this one down here. MCAL Survivor. <laughs> and this one. Christmas Knitter. And the Halloween one. Next to a very old picture of me. <laughs> Yarn Chicken. I have some pins up here. There's my Wisconsin badge. Yeah. <laughs> so... All kinds of all kinds of things I don't know it's just it makes me really happy to have this just hang in here with all good memories to look at while I'm sitting here um, sewing it's just yeah it makes me happy let's talk yarn dyer of the day I think this yarn dyer might have been at least one of the first ones I noticed here in Denmark and thought, I I just, I have to have some of that yarn. <laughs> and I am, of course, talking about the very sweet and very talented Marlena, Marlene in Danish. She has the company It's Yarn together with her husband. Um, she started out having like a brick and mortar store where she lived and then she started um, dyeing yarn and now she has an online store. It is just like all the other Advent dyers linked in the description box below. And I just, I love her yarn so much. I love her colors and the Advent that she has created this year. I don't even have words to describe how amazing I think it is. First of all, I had her advent in my sights because I love her yarn. And then when she came out and told us the theme with Elton John, I was, I was just like, this, this is made for me. And I love the way she has like curated it. Every day you get this little bag and there's a QR code on it and you listen to the song. And I just, I love Elton John. Oh, so much, so much. And to be gifted both a song and a wonderful little mini skein of yarn every day is just such a treat. I have them right here in my box. Let's see if I can hold it up so you can see. So day one, uh, through 22. This is day one and this is the one from today. So all the way this way like that. I have room for just two more and what I want to make with this advent I don't actually know because I want to wear something where I can I can see all the colors together. So either like a shawl or a wrap or maybe even a blanket. I loved making my anthology throw last year with my homespun house calendar and it just it shows out the yard so nice but I'm not sure I want to make that with Marlena's calendar because I might want to make that with a homespun house so I want to find a shawl or something like that for this beautiful yarn I just I love it and it seems like all these amazing yarn dyers they're really they're giving me challenges this year. I had never played the song. I have listened to it plenty of times. It's, as Marlena said herself, maybe a bit of a different Christmas song, but it's so good. Um, <laughs> first of all, I had to find it. That was not hard. It's not difficult to play either, but I didn't have it printed out. So I had it like on my computer. So I had to like play and then go like this. So there's like a weird cut maybe in the middle because the uh, the screen kind of froze so I couldn't scroll onto the next page but I'll try and see if I can edit my way out of that <laughs> so you won't hear me going <laughs> but thank you so much Malena for these 
amazing colors. I love each and every one of them. And I think you're just spot on. I can so very much see your inspiration and I just love it. It's like, that's also like a little cha challenge. You see either the color first or the video first. I have, I have done it the way so that I see the color first and then I watch the video. I'm like, hmm, I think that might be where she got her inspiration. And I just, I love that. It's very nice. So I invite you all to sit back, relax, and let your stitches flow. And now I'm going to get myself ready to go pick up Augusta. I don't know where this morning went. I didn't even sit down knit yet. Let's see what time it is. Maybe I can get like 15 minutes in before I go. Because I have to run past the store too. Because we're, I thought we were going to my friend's house to hang out. But they're coming here, which is just wonderful. But I don't have any snacks in the house. So another run to the store. Maybe I can find the flower that I need. Ooh, an opportunity. Yay. Okay, I will let you go and uh, go get things done. Not too much music today. I'm talking too much. But just at lunch, the girls are both back home. They're just resting, having a chill time. And I'm getting ready to go to my friend's house because it got changed around again. <laughs> I 
I don't even remember if I said earlier that they were going to come here, but they're not. We're going to, first we're going, going to go to one friend's house, then to my house. Now we're going to the third friend's house. Oh, well, <laughs> it doesn't matter at all. Completely irrelevant. But I thought I was just, I would just check in to let you know that I do, I am aware that I don't live in the northern part of Alborg, as I said yesterday. This week, Charlotte, uh, another Danish podcaster, I will link her podcast down below because it is amazing. She lives like a stone's throw away from me and she's like, um, Melina, it's not the northern part of Alborg, it is the western. And I do know that, but my brain thought it said Denmark and my mouth said Alborg. Just another sign that maybe I should have gone to bed instead of talking to the camera. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. But now I will go change out of my uniform, <laughs> put on real clothes, put some snacks in a bag and go hang out with my friends. Almost there, it is freezing. The wind is still blowing, so cold. But thankfully, she only lives two minutes away from me. Yay. 